Yosef, a comment about the performance of the team tonight. Uh, I thought we played played well. We knew we had to come out and get to a great start. Uh, the way that they shoot threes and try to space the floor and play fast. Can't give them you know confidence early. And uh, knew it was gonna be a full 48 minute game. We had a 16 point lead, I think it was, and you know they got hot in the fourth and tried to make it interesting, but uh, made enough plays down the stretch to obviously get the win. Um, you know they're a talented group that works hard, and, and obviously if they get hot from three, they can be cause some trouble, so we uh, just had to withstand that and get to the finish line. Why do you think you guys have been so much more focused this year, ten, you know, seven games in last year at this time? Because we went through what we went through last year, and it's kind of fresh in your memory in terms of how terrible the feeling it was, night in, night out, nothing clicking, not having any energy or juice, or just making things harder than they should be, so we've talked about it, we've been open about it as a team kind of set many goals to start off the season better. Obviously, you're not going to blow people out every night. It's going to be tough. It's the NBA. It's talent, talent everywhere. But um, I think, I think the, looking at the eye test and just how we feel walking up the court, we're, we're playing a lot more focused and more disciplined and better than we did last year starting off the year. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good kind of vibe to have as you go through the 82. Steph, this is what you're kind of going to do, but just as far as the tandem, what do you think has been the key in having such a strong story? We're confident and we understand the game calls for certain efforts in terms of being a little bit more aggressive to shoot and to score. Um, you know, based on different lineups we have out there and things like that. So, uh, I don't know. Just put a lot of work in and have a lot of confidence when you get out there on the floor. Yeah. Try to create the best shots you can. Force the issue a little bit if you need to. And I think the way that we've kind of established our offensive game through all you know any five-man unit that's out there will carry us and get everybody else more confidence as we go through the season. This is a little hard. You guys have really committed on the defense of the run the last four or five years. Given the offensive firepower, where does that mindset come from? Because a lot of teams give lip service to defense, but you guys don't. Uh, let's talk about you know we, what we established when Mark Jackson was here. Um, we started to become a playoff team, and understanding we had offensive talent out all over the court, but you're not gonna be able to outscore people every single night. So uh, we had guys that bought in. Obviously, you have to have talent on that end of the floor, and we've created a, a, a culture of, of, of defensive kind of presence and, and attitude and effort. And, that sustained us throughout this throughout this run. Um, it gives you a great shot every night to get a win, no matter if you're shooting well or not. And especially when we get to the playoffs, um, when the game slows down, things get a little a little tougher, a little bit more physical. You're only going to win games if your defensive effort is there. So um, the results are there. So we kind of just double down on it. This is a little you're a better defensive player than you were two or three years ago, individually. For sure. I mean. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna be the one you look out on the floor and say, "Whoa, look, he's locking people up." But in terms of like taking on challenges, whether I'm on the ball or off the ball, or trying to make it tough, playing within our defensive schemes and things like that, um, I'm definitely gonna show up and do what I need to do. We have amazing defensive, you know, talent like you know Draymond and Clay and KD, what they can do uh, just physically. But uh, we have an attitude that five men out there. We all kind of lock in. Um, we can make it tough on anybody. This is a little random, but uh, what makes Katie's crossover dribble so effective and so unique? I mean, he's got a crazy wingspan, so he can move that ball side to side, and it's tough. It's, you obviously, you can shoot over most people, and you got to respect that. So people try to close the space, and he uses that to his advantage. So uh, I don't think people give his ball handling as much credit as it deserves in terms of getting from point A to point B, staying on balance and being able to create space into into a jumper. Um, pretty deadly. You think it's possible for, for two guys on the same team to average 30 points in a season? Why not? We'll see. Starting, starting another season as defending champions again, do you, need, do you need new motivations and did you set up a new and maybe higher goal for your own performance or are you just going with the flow? No, I always want to get better, and I've 
been very vocal about that over the summer and coming into the season that I feel like I still can uh, become more efficient as a scorer and playmaker and things like that. But as a team, I don't care how you slice it up. Like the goal is to win a championship, and we've been through the the journey enough to know that you know how you need to pro approach each game. Um, understand it's a it's a it's a long it's a long ride, and mentally you got to find different ways to stay fresh and and uh, have the right perspective as you go through the ups and downs of regular season. But we all want to be on that podium at the end of the year. That's all the motivation you need, really. What's jumped, jumped out to you with the trajectory up on the It just seems like whenever he's on the court, he just he obviously gives 110 percent, but he's he's locked in on how he can make a difference. He, he's an amazing rebounder. He has he has confidence when he shoots the ball. When he has those opportunities, and um, doesn't need much time to get going. Whether he you know plays two minutes or ten minutes or like what he did tonight, so. Um, just amazing to watch a guy who's had a, a wild journey in terms of where he's been to get to this point and taking this opportunity and running with it. So, uh, you know, seven games in, he's not even close to scratching the surface of what type of player he's going to be. And uh, would not surprise me if he is a huge, huge catalyst for us, especially when in, in those games that matter at the end of the year. What type of player do you think he can be? He can be the best Alfonso McKinney that, that there is. So um, he has a very specific skill set in terms of his physical presence, his athleticism. He can shoot. But uh, on this team, he knows how to make a difference, and that's only going to um, become more clear by game by game. Steph, you guys are having so much fun out on the uh, floor. And we talked about pregame, the Fergie video, and just how much fun you guys are having. What What is it about this team and this group that you guys are really able to just – no matter what's going on, just kick back, relax, and still stay focused, but have a great time when you're on the court. Um, I mean, we got mature guys that know how to lock in when, it, when the time is necessary. Again, we we spend a lot of time with each other. We played I don't know how many games over the last five years, chasing championships. So you got to find ways to keep things fresh, and can't walk in the locker room everybody be you know just uber serious and. Uh, locking in like from you know, two hours before the game like there's ways to kind of just balance it all but when we get out there on the floor uh, there's a sense of accountability and uh, you know just responsibility about how we're you know we're playing every night so whatever you do whether it's guys getting away from from you know practice off days whatever playing golf together or going out to eat or whoever making funny videos you got to find ways to have fun uh, it's a nine month journey that it's a grind so uh, we got to be human at some point and just have have a good time and enjoy what we get to do for a living.